Well, usually tempura is made with squid, prawns, vegetables, but today we are going extra out of the ordinary and making a pineapple and pear tempura. Exactly. I learned this recipe from a chef and friend while I was traveling in Europe. Excellent. Imagine that. So, pear and pineapple tempura. And guess what? I've got a little bit of a pineapple sauce that I'm going to make with you. Ooh, you and your sauces, always going the extra fancy way. With a little bit of kaffir lime julienne. Nice. Okay. So we're going to start making our tempura batter. I have here 100 grams of corn starch. Perfecto, perfecto, my dear. Okay, get all of it out. Okay. 100 grams of flour. Okay. Okay. I'm going to add the egg right now. A pinch of uh, baking soda right there to give it some rise. You know, baking soda, baking powder is always used for the rise. And a pinch of salt, my dear, just a pinch. So that looks great. In fact, that's your tempura batter. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Obviously, you need some water in there, my dear. So, just gonna add a little water, water. Yeah, you can mix away. So, you got a nice smooth batter. You can see that it's almost like a pancake batter. Yeah. Yeah, when you make your crepes. Excellent. What's next, my dear, is making my pineapple sauce. So, you ready for that? Uh huh. I got about 200 ml of pineapple juice here. Nicely, freshly. Squeeze pineapple juice. I got about um, 100 grams of butter right here and about 60 grams of sugar. Excellent. I'm going to make you a nice little sauce over here, my dear. Get a spatula out there. I'm going to put the half the butter in there first, Natasha. So 50 grams of butter going in. My pot's really hot, so I'm going to get this off. As you don't you want see. your butter to burn. No, so you can get that sugar in for me. No problem. Our 60 grams of sugar going in. Beautiful. And ready for my pineapple juice, my dear? Pineapple juice going in. Thank you, my dear. And uh, let that keep going on, you know? Good. So, it goes for a lot of things. So my sauce is ready. I'm going to dish that out over here, my dear. Mm. You know what, I'm just going to leave it in my bowl for now. So I can just warm it up again when we, when our, when we have our tempura ready. Okay, great. So let's get making our tempura. I'm going to ask you to get me some ice some while ice. I heat up the oil. No problem. So I got just regular vegetable oil here or sunflower oil. You can just throw that in for deep frying. And you're gonna throw some cubes of ice in there, Natasha. And I've got some chopped up pineapple. Pineapple, yeah, absolutely. Chopped up pineapple and chopped up pears. Well I've sliced the pears. Nice. We've tried to make them similar in size so they can kind of cook the same and they're nice looking on the plate. Yeah, they look a little different, like little brother and sister, I guess. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead and put one ice cube in. Maybe two? Or yeah, just maybe one? two, and then use your fingers generously. Indulge yourself really well there. Fingers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Use your fingers. Are you sure? I'm absolutely sure. I'm, okay, I'm here it goes. About it. Anyway, back here, back again. Okay, now that's How's that looking? mixed up. So, I have these. I'm just gonna throw that one in. I'm not worried, it's perfect. Yeah. So you can put some more batter in. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with the consistency of the batter. Perfect. Thank you. So I'm going to take these out first. You can get them a nice golden brown if you like to. This is going to be good. I mean, I just love the idea of this dish. It's very traditional, yet so different, huh? Very traditional tempura batter, very traditional Japan. But this time we're using fruit. So my sauce is ready, nice and hot. Ready to dig into these. Let me get this 